this noise was no bird call. I had never heard anything like it before. It must be the voice of the Indus. Using my new equipment, I made the first ever audio recording of the Indri. But could we also capture them on camera as well? The song was so loud that it seemed impossible that the animals could be more than 20 or 30 yards away. But where were they? Until now, no one had even managed to photograph a living one, let alone film it. Infuriatingly, the bush was so thick that I could see no sign of them whatever. So the question was, how could we get close enough to get a clear view of them without frightening them? Well, I thought, what about doing it the other way round and trying to persuade them to get closer to us by playing their calls. And they did exactly what I hoped they would do. They called in return and came down close to us, stared at us, still calling. I was thrilled. We had recorded their song and filmed them singing. But why had this trick worked? Well, because they thought that the song I was playing meant a competitor was close by. And their response was to sing. And this suggested one thing. There are such things as battle songs. Songs that say, get out, this is my territory. <laughs> 